What's up everyone, this is Scratch, and I've got a video here for you today. We're going to take a look at the games um, on Xbox One, digital games, and you. Um, this is part of my Welcome to Xbox One series that I'm doing for new people who are just jumping in, so expect this to be very, very basic. Um, but I may throw in some things that even some veterans of the system uh, might actually pick up on and help you guys out as much as I can. But the focus is going to be for brand new people. Um, who are just now jumping into the Xbox One experience and I'm going to show you how to get around and we're going to get all of them up to speed so that um, you don't feel like you've missed anything or don't know what you're doing or whatever. We're going to help you and you can leave questions, comments below. Um, there's a lot of my friends who will probably be watching and looking at these videos and I'll answer your questions. They'll probably answer questions and we're going to show you how to get uh, how to get help and how to get you know where you need to be so the first thing you're gonna to want to do is set up your Xbox one we've already done a video about that you've gotten it in there there's more settings that we can do um, but we'll go over all this later <clears throat> right now we're focusing on games so the first thing you probably got a game uh, code card or whatever like maybe inside the box that your Xbox came in and it probably has a QR code on it you can use that to scan it in if you have connect set up um, or there's a, a 5x5 code uh, that you can enter and you're probably wondering where you can do that so I'm gonna explain what we need to do so first obviously you're gonna to wanna to be signed in you'll see your gamer tag up there in the upper left hand corner of the screen um, so you'll know that anytime you redeem a code if you're logged into that account that is the that is the uh, account that's going to own that game digitally so uh, that'll make a little bit more sense here in a second but don't redeem codes that are yours on someone else's account because then that means they own the game and you don't even if you bought it or whatever it doesn't work that way whoever redeems the code <clears throat> gets it so how do you redeem a code that's probably what you want to know so let's just get right to it so first trick we're going to do is the right bumper and we're going to take across the top so right now we're sitting at home and we hit right bumper and we go to community we hit right bumper and go to one guide and hit right bumper and go to store now notice when i went to store it changed right over to games apps movies tvs and music um, so we're going to want to go down to games and if we click browse all games it'll bring it up here and then across the top we have all games add-ons subscriptions search and use a code and of course we're going to want to use a code and we can see everything down here if we if we scroll down I'll just show you real quick you can see everything that's coming soon and this is basically um, all sorted like the top paid here's a bunch of free games that you guys can um, that you guys can download and the top rated games and that'll take you to their respective storefront and then you can buy them buy the add-ons or whatever but we're concerned with use a code so we're gonna come over here to use a code <clears throat> and so that's gonna come up so plug in your connect to scan a QR code or manually enter the 25 uh, character code so if you have connect you can say Xbox use a code and it'll take you directly here you don't have to go through everything that I'm going through that's why I need to get connect hooked back up in here my daughter wanted to use it so it's out there but um, if you say Xbox use a code it goes right here otherwise you gotta manually go through the things like we did so if I had connect there would be right up here to my left there would be a screen and it would show the camera showing on me and I could just hold up that QR code and it would scan in and you'd be done and good to go or you can enter the 25 character code right here and you enter that in and then it'll redeem it again it's going to redeem it on the account and I'm just gonna press back to get all the way back out of here and we want to go back to home <coughs> for this next part and anyways it's gonna redeem it and again it's gonna redeem it on your on your gamer card that's showing up there in the upper left hand corner um, that is that is where it's gonna show so or that's who's gonna own it so once you own it, how do you manage them? Well, if you double tap the trigger, well, I don't have to double tap it. Usually my screen is longer. But if you just pull the trigger, it'll take you down to My Stuff. And you can see I have My Games and Apps. And I have these things here. They're called pins. And so the pins are stuff that I say that I play a lot or that I'm working on. These particularly happen to be games that I'm trying to finish uh, or play a lot, I guess. And then also apps. I've got Twitch. Uh, True Achievements app 
um, achievements, Xbox preview dashboard. You've probably seen some videos of those. Um, those are all of my pins, and we'll show you how to do those here in a second. But first, we're going to go into My Games and Apps. So after you redeem that code, this is where they're going to show up. So we go into My Games and Apps, and depending on the settings of your Xbox, um, it's probably showing up down here in queue, and it will be downloading. Or if you come up here to games, um, and we go all the way to the right. I actually probably need to hold the bumper again to jump past all this. Okay. So, right here is ready to install. So, Braid, Doritos Crash Course, Hydro Thunder, Iron Brigade, Motocross Madness, Peggle, uh, Portal Still Alive, Splunky, and Splosion Man have all been newly added to the Xbox One uh, backwards compatibility for the 360. So they're showing up here as ready to install for me. So, I mean, I knew these games just got added, but if I didn't, I it's it's worth coming over here and checking because, as you can see, they already have Zumba, or Zuma, yeah, Zumba, Zuma, um, Viva Pinata, uh, Trouble in Paradise, which I also have with Rare Replay, um, Toy Soldiers, Torchlight. These are all backwards compatible games that are uh, coming each month. We're gonna have a video about those as well. Um, but for just for example here, I'm just going to jump in and we're going to install Braid. And if I press the left trigger or the right trigger, it'll jump me down to apps. And that way I can scroll all the way back across. So I press the left trigger to do that. And I go down here to Q and I can see that Braid is installing. And it will be on my, it'll be on my Xbox One here in just a little bit. Uh, the reason Braid shows up over there, though, is because I've previously bought it with this gamer tag, and that digital purchase is tied to me. So <clears throat> any games that you bought with Xbox One or any games that you buy from the store or whatever using your gamer tag and your login, which is why it's important to remember the password to that, um, all are going to show up over here in the right. So if your settings are, if your settings are, it takes me a second to get over here. Um, whoops. If your settings are to not have the games automatically download, and we'll go over those, um, like I said in another video, then this is where they're going to show up over here in the right. So as long as we're here, I'm just going to go in and install all of these, even though I may not play them all. So I just do that install, install, install. Okay, now I'm all the way over here, and we go down, and I have nine. So these games are all queued up, ready to go. And this is both for Xbox 360 games and Xbox One games that you own digitally. If you don't own them digitally, there's no way for Microsoft to know that you have it, and therefore it's not going to show up over there. If you have a disc, you can just as well put that in and install the game from the disc, and it works pretty much the same way. You just have to put the disc in to do it. Um, so once these are up, then you can just come here and let's say I want, well, let's, let's pick one that I actually do want. I need to go back and I need to finish a little bit more on Syndicate, and I know that. So I'm going to press the menu button right here, which is previously known as the start button, and I'm going to say pin to home. So when I pin that to home, and then I press B to go back out, um, you can see that Assassin's Creed Syndicate shows up here in my pin, so I have quick, easy access to it. Um, and you can do that. I think you can pin about 24 or 25 uh, items. This includes both games and apps. Um, or I can click on it and I can go down here, for example, and I can view the game hub. So if I want to see the game hub where it talks about Assassin's Creed Syndicate, developers will update these things. Um, and we're going to go into more detail, but since we're talking about games, uh, I just want to show you this. So I can get the info for Assassin's Creed. I can follow it so it'll show up in my timeline um, of my activity feed, which we'll talk about. I can launch the game. I can see it in the store. If I press the right bumper, I can jump across the top to the feed. Um, and I can see uh, Assassin's Creed, the game, is sharing these activities. So it's showing uh, some videos and some pictures. Um, I can take a look at the achievements for the game and how far I am. I haven't had a chance to play it very much. Um, and then what my friends are doing are also listed here. And it'll take just a second, I guess, to come up there. Okay, so it's showing uh, the, I have 63 of my friends uh, play this game. So I can look through and I can see who I might want to ask for um, 
Uh, Judge Bergen, for example, is playing right now. So I might have somebody that I want to ask uh, questions or help with it um, and, and say, hey, I see you're playing Syndicate. I have some, you know, I want to ask you something about this part or whatever. So that's kind of cool. And then if I go over here to Captures, which for me it's showing everything because I'm not sure if I've, uh yeah okay yeah so showing everything so this these are just people i don't know if i not i guess not all of these are friends um but i can do game clips um if i want to look at screenshots and i can browse the game clips and screenshots that the community has done so i'm going to press the b button to go back to where i was so you just easily just jump right back um and then i can also manage the game so to manage the game right now um, it's installed on the backlog and it has ready to install Runaway Train, uh, the Steampunk Outfit for Eevee, and the Darwin and Dickens Conspiracy. So I'm going to go ahead and install those because I've just, I've had those available. I've purchased them, um, but they have not installed here. So if I'm missing any DLC or something's not showing up, this is where you're going to want to go and look for it. So I'm going to install these three things um, and then I'm going to move them to the backlog. So I'm about to move three things from internal. I probably did that a little fast. So right now they're installing, they're ready to queue up to install on the internal drive, but I want them to be on my external drive, which I've affectionately named backlog. So I'm going to click on here and I'm going to click move all and I'm going to move three things from internal to backlog. So when I move those, um, they're going to install uh, into the backlog instead of on my internal drive. Uh, actually, they haven't installed yet, so maybe that's why they won't show up there. But I like to keep everything on my external drive because I do have two Xboxes in my house, and I jump between the two, so I just take the hard drive full of all the games that we have um, and take them over there. And as you can see, I'm still getting notifications that my games are uh, launching and ready to start, and we'll Take a look at those in a backwards compatibility video, but I just wanted to show you guys really quick um, how everything works, and we have all of our apps down here as well. I kind of neglected to talk about those, but um, Netflix, Skype, Twitch, Ubisoft Club, uh, you name it, it's all right here, YouTube, which you're probably watching it on right now. So. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you guys have any more questions or you want me to cover something a little bit more in depth, um, I know I've already gone way over the time that I wanted to do for this video, but I wanted to make sure that we showed everything that we could for you guys. And hopefully we've helped some of you. And welcome to Xbox if you're new. Um, and thanks for watching. And thanks for sharing the videos and helping your friends um, do the things that maybe you're learning here and elsewhere. And please check the link in the uh Check for links in the description. Um, I'm going to have some helpful tips and links and things in there. And probably, uh, depending on what questions I get, I may update that from time to time. So if you're watching this for a second and third time, it's worth reading the description because I do keep them updated. So, all right. Thanks for watching. That's it. And I will catch you guys in the next video. And welcome to Xbox.